What is up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be tackling this hot mess right here. This is our guest bedroom and I really am not in the mood to go through this room right now, but my parents are coming to visit for the weekend and they're coming up tomorrow night. So I need to get this done today. So we're going to declutter it, do a deep clean, and then I'm actually going to restyle it a little bit, give it a little refresh. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely stick around till the end. What do you see? <laughs> I'm Corey, if you don't already know, I'm a wife, a mom, and a dog mom who's passionate about all things to do with the home. So if you are looking for design inspiration, <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, that's you. So if you're looking for design inspiration, organization hacks, or really anything in between, then you've definitely come to the right place. Yes, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, so you will be notified of any new videos that I post. I'll be posting videos weekly, and I don't want you to miss out on any of the goodness. Let's dive into this hot mess. Here is the hot mess bedroom that I need to declutter, refresh, and redecorate by tomorrow. <laughs> oh, this is something that I really don't have the energy for, to, but it has to get done. There's nothing like having house guests to get things in order, I guess. So we're just going to roll with it. This room doesn't normally look like this, but we are redoing our laundry room. So this has been where all of the clutter from our laundry room has accumulated. And believe it or not, I actually decluttered about half the stuff in our laundry room. So uh, yeah, big mess. Um, but I am gonna go through more things today and probably get rid of a lot of our old towels. We have tons of towels that we don't need. So that's probably the game plan. And then I'm going to be doing a bunch of laundry. I'm going to, wash the sheets and the bedding for the guest bedroom and we're going to wipe down the baseboards wipe down the bed frame and then i'm going to be restyling and decorating this room um, we already have blue accents and kind of like i want to say a coastal theme going on not a theme but a coastal vibe so i'm just going to stick with that i'm going to do this on a budget i don't want to go overboard and totally redecorate it so here we go. So I'm just gonna get rid of, well, I'm just gonna go through um, all of these towels that we have. We have these plus a whole load of laundry that I'm doing right now. Way too many towels. A lot of them are either stained or damaged and we just don't have anywhere to store them. Um, and we are three people, we don't need that many towels. So I'm gonna be getting rid of... <laughs> so I'm gonna be getting rid of some of them and that'll free up some of the clutter in this room. And then I'm just going to take all the clothes and just start washing them get them out of here and then this stuff right here are the cabinets from our laundry room um so we're just going to take them down to the garage where they belong and get everything out and then we can clean
that this room is cleaned out and I got it cleaned and refreshed, I have to deal with this big mess. <laughs> so this is the hallway. Those are clean clothes that need to be folded and put away today. And these are dirty clothes that have been piling up that I've totally been neglecting. So I need to get them done and put away and folded. The problem is that my laundry room is currently under construction. We're gonna be doing a laundry room makeover. So stick around, well stay tuned for that video. But the problem is that this washing machine is on its last leg. So every time I do a load of laundry, I have to re-spin it a second time because the water will stay in it otherwise. So it takes me a lot longer to do laundry. We just haven't had the time to really get to this laundry room makeover. So game plan, fold, put away, and then finish this mess. So, And then we will get to decorating, which is the fun part. I'm excited. We have to go shopping too. out and it's clean the bed is made so this is what we have in here now just two pictures from Target a little round mirror two lamps a few bedside tables and then just that little faux plant from Ikea when we first put this room together years ago we didn't really have any intentions for it but it did turn out to be kind of like a coastal vibe I would have to say so we're just gonna go with that. I don't wanna spend a lot of money. I just wanna get a few more accessories just to dress it up a little bit and give it a nice refresh. So we are gonna head over to Target and see what we can find. So this Target that I went to had a great selection from Hearth and Hand. I loved all of the linens and the lumbar pillows. So I think we're going to go with a lumbar pillow to bring some extra comfort to the bed. For a coastal style, you really want to look for neutral colors and natural textures to give off that relaxed feeling of being on the coast. back from Target we actually found some really great things all around a hundred dollars and I will say I got this pillow for our bed for five dollars because none of the pillows had any come here Joey come here <laughs> none of the pillows had any tags on them and when I went up to the register to ask for a price no. the guy said how does five dollars sound so I said that sounds great yeah. So it was all around a hundred dollars, so it was pretty all right. We have to do a lot of take twos around here. It's just the reality of trying to get stuff done with a baby. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this pillow I got it for five dollars. So excited. It's um from Hearth and Hand, and I know everyone is really obsessing over the new Studio McGee drop at Target. 
their 2023 fall collection, but I gotta say, I don't know. It was beautiful, but I feel like Hearth and Hand still pretty good. They're still going strong. So that's where I got all of the stuff for this room. It just fits this aesthetic. So we, I wanted to kind of tie in the blues and make it a very coastal, I'm gonna call it a modern coastal aesthetic. So that's kind of what we went for. So let me show you what we got. Okay, so the first item that I got for just to style a side table is this little woven rattan basket. It, the lid comes off of it, which is really cute. And I'm just going to style it with just this Magnolia table book that I got. It was 30% off. And so I'm just going to kind of style it like that. It has a very nice neutral vibe going on, which we like. And I was gonna get a candle, but I actually thought that this was pretty cool that they had. It's a oil diffuser and it's in a glass bottle, which is very coastal. And it has, it's a salt scent, which goes with our coastal theme. So that's, really cool too. So I'm going to go ahead and style this on the side table. And then I showed you the pillow that we got, which matches the bed, the bedding and the pillows and everything and really ties in the blue. So, and then the last item I got for this room, I wanted to bring a little bit of greenery in here just to mix up the blue and this large vase from Hearth and Hand was only, I believe, $35? No, $30. I think that's a really great price for this. It's very solid. And then that three stems, each one was $5, which again, I think is a great price for this. I think that they're very realistic looking and I think it's just going to be a nice contrast to the blue and whites. All right, so that's what we got. I'll show you the final product. Okay, so here is the final product. I absolutely love how this turned out. It's so cozy and inviting and just really an upgrade from what it was. I love that I didn't spend a lot of money and I really didn't change much. I just added a few key styling pieces and it really elevated the space. I think this is a perfect room for my guests now. It is so relaxing, so cozy, and it's a great place for my guests to retreat to after a long day.
Okay, so my final thoughts on this room, I love how it turned out. It cost me just about $100 to really refresh the space. We got that nice long pillow to make the bed more luxurious and more comfortable. We added some greenery to really make it more relaxing and break up the blue a little bit. Um, we added the wicker pieces to tie in the coastal theme. And it just goes to show that you don't need to spend a lot of money to really elevate your space. So hopefully this video inspired you to declutter a room and refresh it, bring in some new decorating pieces on a budget. So if you like this video, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and liked and subscribed and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of any new videos that I post. And I will see you on the next one.